Hey everyone, what's going on? This is Ben from blogwithbin.com. I want to welcome you to this step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make a favicon for your WordPress blog. Now, I'm assuming that if you're watching this video, you already have a pretty good idea of what a favicon is, but just to be safe, if you look at the top of the screen, I have a couple different tabs pulled up. Those small images located within the tabs, those are favicons. Now, typically a favicon is going to be 16 by 16 pixels. That is a super small image, but that's the image that web browsers use as a graphical representation of your blog. And that's important for a couple reasons, in my opinion. One, a favicon is going to help build brand recognition. And two, it'll help establish credibility in the eyes of your readers. And again, I think these are two very important things just to keep in mind whenever you're just starting a blog. So with that being said, let's make your favicon. Now, when it comes to actually generating your favicon image and then implementing it to your blog, you have a couple different ways to approach it. But for this tutorial, we're going to be using a free favicon generator to make our image. And then we're going to be using the all-in-one favicon plugin to upload that image so that it shows up on our blog. Now, the reason I recommend doing it this way, uh, especially whenever you're just starting out, is it takes the guesswork out of it. It simplifies the process. There is zero coding to worry about, and it can be done in three simple steps. So the first step is we need to actually generate our favicon image. And without getting too technical, basically what that means is we just need to convert our image into an icon file. The quickest and easiest way to do that is to use a favicon generator. Now you could find a lot of these online, but the one that I use and recommend is favicon.cc. You can access it at www.favicon.cc. And a couple of reasons why I like it so much. One, it's free. Uh, two, you can create a new favicon with their free design software tools, or you can import an image that you already have and convert the file that way. But uh, really quickly, I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So they have this uh, kind of um, little, like I said, free design software tools. Now mind you, this is a, a quick little free hand for the sake of time. We're just gonna run through this, but obviously if you had more time, you can um, you can play around with it. And I've seen some people, uh, develop some pretty cool and unique favicons using these design software tools. So as you can see down here in the preview section, they'll, sh they'll give you a little preview of what it looks like. And then also up in the tab, you can, you can see what, what your favicon looks like. And once you're done painting your, uh, your little favicon, you can click download and that will convert the file that way. But what we're going to be doing for this tutorial is we're going to be importing an image. So what we're going to do is select import image. And then on the next screen is where we're going to choose our file. Now keep in mind, they list the supported file types below. So just make sure that whichever file you use is one of those file types. So click choose file. And we're going to select the picture that we're going to use and click upload. And then as you can see, uh, it looks great. Uh, we see in the preview what it's going to look like in the address bar and then also up in the tab. Uh, in I think it looks perfect. So once we are satisfied with our image, we're going to select download favicon, and then that's going to convert the file into the icon file that, that uh, we're going to use in the next step. So the step number two is we need to install the all-in-one favicon plugin. Now the way to do that is to go to your WordPress dashboard, which you can access in your admin area. So once you're in your dashboard, you're going to go down to plugins and add new and search plugins all in one favicon and there it is right there click install okay and once it's been successfully installed they'll they'll give you a little notice and you'll click on the activate plugin link and that will activate the plugin. Once we are, we're up and running, we're gonna go down to settings and the last selection all-in-one favicon, click on that link and that's gonna bring us into the all-in-one favicon settings. Now the only thing that we're gonna worry about is this section, the very top section, the ICO front end. This is where we're gonna upload that image that we just created uh, at the favicon generator. So we are going to find that image and select it and once we have selected it click save changes and boom we're good to go and we'll go visit site and our favicon is up and running so that's it and uh, like i said it's a, a pretty pretty painless process uh three easy steps and 
I know for me, whenever I was just starting out, this was one of the biggest things that, um, the smallest things I should say, that gave me the biggest headaches. So I love this plugin. It's quick, easy, painless, and I think even the most novice blogger can figure it out. So again, with that being said, I hope this was helpful. If you guys have any questions, concerns, suggestions, swing by blogwithben.com, drop me a line there. Also, sign up for the newsletter, stay up to date with everything that's going on the blog and learn how to grow, monetize, and build a successful blog. And then also, if you're watching this through YouTube, I would love it if you would subscribe and you could stay up to date with all the tutorials that way. But again, you know, I really hope this was helpful. I wish the best of luck to you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video.